Hey Zolivers, this is Superstar Got BBQ coming to you with WrestleMania Rota Glory number two. This is Supercard video number 13. Unlucky for some, not unlucky for me, as you'll find out later on in the video. But this is a very exciting time. We have our first ever, ever left arrow event card for our Road to Glory event. And that means you don't have to spend a load of money or you don't have to play hard to get yourself one of these cards. You don't have to finish in the top five of the People's Champion event to do it. And that is important because this means a few of these are going to be running around. I will warn you all now, anyone watching is they are increasing the difficulty. Game that has said a lot of the things that people were using to get the Bret Hart card last time will no longer work, such as the Uncommon Method. And it will now be based on difficulty at the level it should be. It will not be based on your dex difficulty, apart from the plus ones. So get your deck ready because you is going to be, I feel, a very difficult road to glory. And this is a WrestleMania's winner road to glory. So if you haven't watched WrestleMania, this is a spoiler alert from me right now. Don't watch the rest of this video until we get past the winners. Okay. First of all, Tyson Kidd, Cesaro, winners of their tag match, John Cena, winner of the Rusev match and ending Rusev's undefeated streak and becoming the new United States Champion. Undertaker, bringing back a bit of dignity for himself after losing so ceremoniously to Brock Lesnar last year, beating Bray Wyatt, AJ Lee, in one of her final matches for the company, winning with Paige against the Bella Twins. Randy Orton with one of the most amazing RKO's of his career. He said on Raw, the most amazing RKO of his career. And a epic WrestleMania moment they will Ryan. live on, who won this intercontinental ladder match, which was a great way to start the show. Seth Rollins, who won the World Heavyweight Championship after inserting himself with his Money in the Bank briefcase. And I know a lot of people on Twitter and on the Supercar community who will be getting their first, second, or even third WrestleMania pros with this card. Which is absolutely insane when you think about it. But hey, it, it, it's happened, which is great. And I love the card, and I hope, can't wait till I get the pro of it as well. And then we have the two levels of terror. And if it is as difficult as it's supposed to be, they are going to be the two levels of terror. You have the game, the cerebral assassin, the king of kings, Triple H, the road to glory champion for this road to glory, whose stats are somewhere in between Bret Hart and Brock Lesnar's cards. All in all though, it's a great addition to the deck and it's always going to be useful purely because it's a left arrow. Thank you Cad Daddy for listening. I cannot show you how much I appreciate that, but this is where it gets interesting because now we're going to move into our Rotoglory deck and show you what we're going to be going up against those really tough decks, the likes of Jonathan, Adnan again, Edward, Desperez, all the likes of those, Monty, Flex Valentino, etc. That you saw in the previous videos again. Just had the name drop a couple. Just to, just to say that. Um, this is where we're going to show you what we have to go up, to go up against those. And I'm not sure many people are going to like what they're about to see because only one person currently knows. I pulled my second WrestleMania Pro off of the board just before recording this video. His name is Edward and I flipped out like I, I literally just sat there and just pretty much squealed. I could not believe what I had just pulled. I'm going to show you now. Eddie Guerrero. Remember my previous Supercard videos? I said that if I ever got this card it would not leave my sight. Absolutely spot on. I will never let this card leave my sight. This is the dream card I've always wanted. I could die now and be happy in terms of supercard, dying and be happy. 
yeah, you get where I drift. Simply put, the left arrow I've been looking for. It's a shame that Triple H is going to come along and ultimately replace him, but he is going to be an awesome addition to my deck and be an awesome addition into my uh, King of the Ring and for next PCC as well. He could be that additional ingredient I need to be able to win another PCC card. On to the other cards, and this is the deck you're going to see in front of you, which is absolutely unreal. And we are pushing up into the lower parts of WrestleMania Plus, and not many people are doing that. I think I saw Monty's deck earlier on, and Jonathan's, and they were just around the same area as I was. So we are in a very, very good position. Unfortunately, I still have one Survivor Pro left which is the rock, which is the best card in Survivor tier. But by the end of this Road to Glory, it'll be done, it'll be gone. Ta-ta, see you later. So we have Brock Lesnar, first of all, my brand new People's Champion Brock Lesnar. As you all know from my previous video, who I achieved. Road to Glory, Bright Heart. Be seen. Bad News Barrett, who I will always treasure as being one of the most important cards I've ever had since playing Supercard, because I got it after winning a King of the Ring just after I started People's Champion. I was so pumped because this basically made me win that People's Champion Brock Lesnar. Without this card, I would not have got anywhere near I would have lost multiple games. I'm so grateful for the, the card itself. Road to Glory, sorry, Road to Glory, Fusion Dean Ambrose, Fusion Brian number one, Fusion Cena number one, Fusion Brian number two, Fusion Cena number two, Road to Glory, Cena, Sting, Ambrose, Tista, or Blue Tista, Roman Reigns, Bad News Barrett, and The Rock. It's amazing to think about this. But at some point in the near future, I could be having to get rid of these Road to Glory cards. So what look like some of the most important cards available. I could be having to get rid of those to train up WrestleMania pros. Something I never thought I'd ever see. And at the bottom, we have the Wall of Nikki. And I said on Twitter that I was going to do something because I have no choice. I have no WrestleMania Pro Divas and a lot of people are getting them. I proed my last Nikki Bella, which means I now have three Nikki Fusions sitting there as a basically a wall to stop anyone getting through. And I have our Road to Glory Nikki on the right hand side, which is here. And two glasses at the bottom to provide that ultimate all over scope that hopefully allow me to win this road to glory so what's your road to glory which card are you aiming for comments below please like subscribe share on pass it on to anyone you know your friends your father your mother whoever this has been super summer god bbq with super card video number 13 and just tell you what i'm going to end this the way eddie would end this video viva la raza zo leave